Here in Hiroshima, because there is going to be the uh, peace memorial cer ceremony for the 70th anniversary since um, Hiroshima happened. Obviously I feel really lucky because not many people got to come here. Only one person from each country got to represent their country in this ceremony. So obviously I feel extremely grateful and lucky to be here and it's going to be such a special event tomorrow. So. I'm really excited. Well obviously it's one of those things that you just go to once in your life and you're never going to see it again and I think as it's such a special and unique opportunity and it's probably going to be something quite touching and it's just something that I think it just touches you so much that you will always remember it as being one of the most amazing experiences of your life. Right now we're about to get on the buses to go to Hiroshima because at the moment we are not right in the centre. If I think about it, 70 years ago, like nobody had any idea where Hiroshima was or, um, you know, it wasn't a particularly important city. And just from something that happened a few hours from now, 70 years ago, everyone knows what it is and where it is. And I think that how a place can change in so little time, just because of one thing, this thing has made the city famous. So during the ceremony there were a few important people from Japan that did a few speeches and they were mainly talking about peace in the world and I think it's really amazing how in Japan even though there's been, there was this um, great tragedy that happened 70 years ago they hold no resentment and they're still um, spreading a message of peace all around the world even though they did go through this horrible period. Um, so it was a really great experience. Um, I really liked it as there were lots of different things that we did. We didn't just do the ceremony. We also got to go to the children's ceremony for the paper cranes and we got to see some of the Japanese culture afterwards as well. Um, my favourite thing out of all of them was definitely the paper cranes one for the children because it was a lot more personal and we got to, uh, we got to actually hang up some paper cranes on the, um, in the little museum they have behind the statue and there were all the scouts from Hiroshima as well so it was really great to just mix all the scouts from the Jamboree, so around the world, and the scouts from Hiroshima. We, ha I think that as it was only a close group of, even though there were lots of us, there was only a close group of people, um, and we kind of, even though we didn't all know each other, but we have this thing in common, which is um, scouting, and I, it just felt a lot more like they were actually talking to us, more than just talking to like the world and everyone that was there, and it just was, it was really interesting and the people that spoke, the, some of the young people spoke as well from the scouts, so I really liked it. You need to go towards everything with peace, like even though it, sometimes it's hard to be happy and be like, okay, I could give you for everything, but if we, like someone said uh, at the ceremony yesterday, like we start peace, so like if we are peaceful then peace will be created. So obviously like peace comes from, from us, if, we don't, if, not, we're, if we're not all peaceful, then there isn't going to be peace in the world.